Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In today's episode, we're doing a real simple job that I should have done six months ago, and that is replace our cabin air filter and decontaminate the air conditioning system with this Forte air conditioner treatment. Oh my God, look at that. Now this is a really easy job, but sometimes these videos can be useful just to locate where your cabin filter is and how to remove it and replace it. So it's definitely something you guys can do and it is something you should do. And you will see why in just a few minutes because I can't even prepare you for what I discovered in my cabin filter space. Now, not only are we gonna be doing that, but we're also gonna be giving the air conditioning and the whole um, sort of heating system a good going over and some treatment with this air conditioning treatment from Forte. And what this is, is, is an aerosol bomb that sets off. Uh, it goes through and kills any contaminants um, and it just should make things smell and work a lot better. So let's get stuck in. First job, remove that old cabin filter. So the cabin filter slash pollen filter is located inside the dash behind our glove box. So to drop the glove box down more, you just have to squeeze these two clips. There's one on either side. Squeeze that, it'll drop down. Squeeze this one and it'll drop down, you can see. And I did mention, look, dirt. Now look at this. I don't know if you can see that. That is filth from the inside of my car. It's just absolutely disgusting. And I'm, I'm ashamed that I haven't done it beforehand. I don't know what that is. Please don't tell me that's a rat's nest. Okay, I think that's supposed to be there. Let's put that back. Right, our cabin filter is actually located behind this panel here. Uh, so it's really easy to get to once you've dropped the uh, glove box. And there's just a little clip on the side. We open that and pull this out. Now, this, you can see just how much dust is in there so this is going to be quite exciting oh my god look at that that is probably the worst cabin filter i have ever seen just look it's completely passed through why did i not do this beforehand that is revolting so if you haven't done that in your vehicle, then you are missing out on some fresh air. And do you know what? I knew it was there. That's the stupid thing. I knew it would be bad. So to give it a good clean in here, I've got a steam unit and I'm going to be using some uh, muck off. Now this is motorcycle cleaner, but I figured it would just do the job because at the end of the day, we're just getting rid of some dirt. And I've got a little brush here just to agitate some of the stuff in there. When that's done, um, yeah, we'll give it a clean out and get the uh, cabin filter done. So the other camera just isn't going to show you how bad this is because it's on time lapse, but just look in there and in our glove box. I should probably take the glove box out and put it in a bloody dishwasher. So there we go, a bit of a steam clean. It's looking a lot better. I'm going to have to let it dry out now. And I have noticed as well that this was just glued in, unfortunately. So we're missing a screw at the bottom, which we can add, I think. Uh, although I can't see it. No, there's nothing for it to screw into. Um, so we're going to have to glue that back in or we could just invest in a new one of these because I think this had a cup holder in it at one point. Maybe, did it? Hmm. I think you can get this with a cup holder. Um, this is a bit naff, so I think we might actually be replacing this. I bought the other one for 15 quid and that had some uh, had the switch gear in it for the lights. So I can't imagine one of these is going to be very expensive. So we'll go on eBay, get one of these ordered. Well guys, stage two of our decontamination process inside the D3 is to let off this Forte air conditioner treatment. Now this is um, basically an aerosol bomb. You switch it on, it kicks off, it doesn't stop, it just keeps pouring out um, aerosol. But the way it's designed is it's just got a one push cap and it's going to spray aerosol directly up into the vehicle. We've taken the uh, 
panel filter out as you saw our horrendous cabin filter is out so there's nothing in there at the moment we have got a new one ready to go in this is a carbon one which is why it looks slightly gray um, which is slightly better because it's hopefully uh, going to get rid of some of those contaminants as well that'll go in afterwards but for now we're going to set off this bomb i'm um, going to set it off here um, try not to put this near anything uh, any decent material so if you've got leather seats and things like that try not to have this spraying on your leather near your leather seats when it goes off so just not too close to the uh, headliner as well because it will stain it so just basically stick it on your cubby box is a good good solution so give it a good shake right so you put your settings on as coldest setting as possible full fan so don't put on auto just full fan cold setting and recirculate very important to recirculate you don't want to be pulling any fresh air in you want to be recirculating the awful air that you've got inside so full speed ahead Wow, that is lemon. Okay, <coughs> nice job. Let's get some windows open. So the last job now is just to replace our pollen filter. So trust me, it's an easy job. All you have to do, obviously, as we said before, just release these two tabs either side. And look how clean my glove box is now. And we've still got the hole here for our filter. Now, the filter goes in with these flaps, you can just see here. These flaps have to be pointing up, so it just slots in like this. And then just tuck it in and up, you can just see there. And we're in. So, should be good for another six months that job was definitely worth doing i i'm ashamed that it hadn't been done before obviously i didn't let it get to that condition but i should have done it as the first job i was so uh, carried away with getting the vehicle running and driving as it should that i just neglected the simple things so if you're like me and you're driving around a discovery whatever vehicle you're in please please do check your pollen filter because as i said before at the beginning of the video it is something that does get neglected by a lot of garages when they service your vehicle so it's up to you to make sure that it's in tip-top condition so thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed it anything you liked that you saw in the video there's a list in the description of what you can get from lrparts.net and hopefully if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up please do subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one